let's talk about this other thing. Did you see that video of uh, me fragging the uh, beefy blue stag? Yeah, let's show the video. So oh, I've been talking about these rusted ass things now. These, <laughs> these that I refuse to molly coat, even though I oh bought molly coat. These are the cool ass needle nose pliers that I got for crushing vermitted snails. Then I found out that these things for fragging SPS are way better than the bone cutters, right? So what would happen to me when I would use the bone cutters? You think the bone cutters torts it too much? Oh, and I've got another tool, this tool here, but we'll talk about that on another show. The bone cutters, um, when you squeeze through, they end up putting torque on the piece. Exactly right. So <laughs> what would happen- more shit than you intended to. Yeah, well, what would happen to me is they, that whole blue, I want to trim the blue stag and I cut it here and it would break here and the whole thing would fall down. Yeah. These things seem to put the pressure towards each other. None of it goes into the piece. There's no twisting. So sometimes I got to score it a little bit. Then I get about halfway on the coral. And then I just squeeze down and it just pops oh, it right off. That's what you were doing. I saw that in the video because you were you were kind of like on a section for a while. And I was watching it and I was like, what is he doing? What's he doing? So, so you were scoring it. If it's too thick, I'll, 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 you know, instead of trying to do the whole thing like this, I'll do here. Then I'll do here. Okay. And then I'll, I'll move it in. And once you get about halfway through, you squeeze and it pops it off. Okay. So, yeah. So, do you go in and first and kind of feel like this is going to break off or you're like, eh, that's not going to break. No, off. I pick, I, I pick where I want it to break and I use you score right away and I go for it. And I did it with the turban area. You sent me not the turban area. Yeah. yeah. The tubastria, microthalma. So I, my crantha, excuse me. I had a piece that I glued in place and it was too close to the front and I couldn't get my magnet. And I was like, Oh, I'm screwed. And I went, Oh, and I used these and I went in and I went to it. I went and it went and it popped it off and it didn't break it off the glued section that I had just glued an hour before. Hey, let me ask you a question on my Krantha it is because I've never had to, I've never fragged my Krantha. Like is the skeleton dense or is it, was it easy to pop off? It popped off really easy. The skeleton is not too dense. It's just big. Okay. Um, now, now I, I did this on some Euphilia. So some torch corals. It was, you know, super indigo, gold, anus, whatever. <laughs> it's a euphilia. Um, the euphilia skeleton is too soft. This is a- Oh, they're color. weird. Yeah, it's this weird. Is, it's like a whole matrix inside and it never breaks where you want it to. Don't use these for euphilia. Super um, fragile. So I like these. We'll put these in the link. Um, I still like the 3D printed ones which I think we have a venue for people to be able to get them rather than just get the STL. Uh, but that's not going to happen this week. Um, and this tool is not going to happen this week. And I think that's time. I think the other beef should wait till next week. Are you serious? I love beef.